Hey guys, this is Luis Moreno. Good morning to you guys. I've got a good question from one of my insureds or from one of my agents. And uh, the question goes, I don't understand the difference between IEP and ICEP. You know, when do I utilize? And uh, so if, they're, if they're, they have part A and part B and those dates are the same, you're gonna utilize IEP. Now, if for some reason this senior is still working, they're 65, a lot of times they will get their part A, but they will not get their part B. And they'll be utilizing their employer group coverage and everything is just fine. Two years later, they decide to retire. At that point, they're going to enroll in part B. Um, they're gonna fill out a few forms and send them into social security. Um, one of those forms is showing that they've had credible coverage so that they don't get penalized. Now, once they get their Part B, as long as you enroll them before that effective date, so let's say that the effective date of that Part B is October the 1st, and uh, anytime in September um, you are, are filling out that application, you will use ICEP. Now, the problem is, and I ran into this scenario yesterday, I had an insured who came to us after the date. So on yesterday's date, or yesterday's appointment, it was an August 1 effective date. Okay, so um, we, we had a little trouble with that one. So we couldn't use ICEP, but we've got a couple of options. Number one, we utilized a SEP, and I had two SEPs available for me in that area. SEP number one, which is a special election period, is going to be loss of employer coverage. Okay, so that's one option. Uh, second option for me, and you've got to check in your area and see if you've got it, is a five-star. Okay, so that would have been another op option. So just realize that you do have options and that you're not stuck if you catch them after the effective date of that Part B. Hope this helps you.